let's chat while I take care of my new puppy, Uno. I've had quite a few people reach out to me asking when I was going to start posting content again. With excitement, they express how they look forward to my videos and seeing what I'm going to post next. What's funny is, no matter what I do to not operate in obedience, God always puts people in my path who remind me of that which he placed in my heart. I'll also hear a message about someone else's journey, and it'll resonate with me, and I instantly feel convicted for not doing what it is God has assigned me to do. I recently heard someone say God gives us dreams and ideas to bless us and be a blessing to others. If we choose not to be obedient in what task he assigns us, he will give that dream and desire to the next person. What if that person is obedient and walks in their purpose? The same purpose I had the opportunity to carry out. How will I feel seeing that person reap all the rewards that were meant for me? So like I said, me posting more and showing up on social media is a calling. Some days I'm not going to want to show up and do the work. There will be good days and bad days. That's fine. But what matters at the end of the day, end of the month, end of the year is that I continue to show up and operate from a place of obedience. My videos may not be shot from the right angles or may have bad lighting and quality at times. I may look silly or crazy doing certain things. But guess what? God isn't asking me to be perfect. He just wants me to show up and put in the work and walk in my purpose. If me looking crazy or silly is the thing that may help someone, I'm okay with that. What I have to share may be just the thing they need to hear or see that day. Me showing up may help them in some way or simply encourage them. I challenge you to show up in the areas in your life that you know God is calling you to do just a little bit more. You may not see it, but he will give you everything you need to succeed, whether it's opening doors of opportunity, providing the ideas, or providing tangible things you need to succeed. It just takes you to having the faith the size of a mustard seed and being obedient in your calling day in and day out. I'm excited what God has in store for you and I. Let's do our part and get everything he wants for our future and the legacy we will leave behind. The scripture says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Jeremiah 29 and 11.